The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Please take a second to fill out our brief poll, and we will get started shortly. Again, good morning, everyone. We're gonna get started here in a second. Okay, hello everyone, we're gonna get started. Thank you for filling out the poll. Um, I'm sure at least somebody was wondering, you know, why for a financial webinar, uh, we're gonna be talking about TV or cable. But um, as you can see by our topic, we are going to work on different ways today of how to stop overpaying for cable, um, especially during socially distant times. I'm sure everybody's Netflix and TV usage has gone up relative to what it normally is with less activities and things like that going on, um, but wanted to cover that topic today. Um, so good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekly brief discussion. If you're joining for the first time, my name is Matt Dunlap, and uh, Well Advised is a team whose mission is to help employees in worksite financial education 
as well as health and safety practices as well. Um, each Thursday, we have been hosting a financial session. Today, uh, June 18th, will actually be our final session for the time being. Uh, we will be coming back a little bit later in the summer with uh, a new education program that we will be delivering to everybody. But um, for the time being, this is going to be our final well-advised financial uh, wellness session. So appreciate everybody who has attended consistently, and hopefully we've learned something along the way, and we will continue to provide new information uh, and many different resources. But um, this is the last live session uh, for a little bit of time. So I want to thank everybody for attending. And with that being said, as always, questions are always welcome and uh, can also be fielded personally um, from uh, us, uh, from our email or phone. So without further ado, we're going to get started with our quote of the day here. And this is a more financially focused quote. We've stayed away from them at times, but I think this is a this is a good one about trying to really trying to uh, generate that financial freedom. Um, so there you have it. OK, so as we're talking about, it, did you know, uh, you know, companies who provide cable and offering services uh, normally impose a company fee that uh, exclusively taxes and takes about a 24 percent surcharge of all of the prices being advertised for your cable information. Um, for the average consumer, their monthly cable bill is $217, which is an astronomical amount of money to be paying when we're only watching certain shows and certain cables. Um, but just under $157 of the $217 uh, are comprised of base package pricing. So that means that we have, you know, we have $40, $50 worth on average of excessive uh, bills and charges and taxes and fees that uh, aren't just about providing you cable. And in 2020, uh, there are many different solutions and many different alternatives and streaming services that can get you all the same content, get you all the same stuff, um, but not having to break the bank to do so. Um, obviously, with everybody's personal uh, entertainment uh, needs and situation, this is going to apply differently for everybody. Um, but it's um, hopefully we can we can help and get something in place. So the first question when you're thinking about this is what do you do, right? Um, there's you know we we first need to assess our current usage, how we're using, what we're using uh, from a from a a media perspective. Uh, I, nobody that's on this call today I saw that had zero that don't watch any TV. So there's always some type of consumption level here that we can always uh, look at. And then uh, we want to look at condensing our bills and then the potential of cutting the cord. But the first thing we need to do is really uh, to understand what we use and how we use it. We want to assess our current usage. So what do you watch as a family, as a household, however you do it? Um, the first thing that we always suggest doing when going through an exercise like this of trying to cost cut and expense cut uh, is figure out how often you use it uh, for what purposes and, and where there can be, um, you know, over usage or not, not enough usage. So the first thing we would do is, is create a top five. So top five is for every individual within your household, determine the top five things that they watch. If somebody only watches one or two things and somebody else watches seven, that's okay. But normally we like to condense it down to a top five. Um, once you have that list of top five, consolidate them, see if you know multiple peoples in the household uh, are watching the same content just at different times or something like that. Um, a question to ask is of the content that's being watched, is it live or is it recorded? Um, are these reruns of shows that you like from previous or is this something that's live, whether it's sports or live entertainment or reality TV, something like that, that you need to watch at a certain time? Because uh, as we all know, Twitter ruins all types of shows if we don't watch it live and, you know, we have our followings and our different shows that we watch. Um, so and then looking at where they're shown, there's a bunch of overlap as it becomes to where things are being offered right now. And, and there's overlaps in services where just because it's a. Uh, a certain network provides, it doesn't mean that's the only place that it lives. Um, so get a better understanding of the things you're watching, all the places that it's being hosted or shown. Uh, and then the final part of this is this assessment phase is examine your bill. Um, we're actually going to examine a bill 
uh, here in a second, but um, the, it's very important that you examine your bill to make sure that uh, there's no, been no changes in fees or changes in coverage services, added purchases, buy-up options, anything like that that could, um, if you're not careful, could become very expensive very quickly. Um, so here's a, a old Comcast bill. They're, you know, Xfinity now, and um, but here's a, a Comcast bill that breaks down the different coverages. Uh, and this is, so this is just a base service of, of um, and a base service of television. And uh, as we talk about different name brands and things like that, we have no connections to any of them, just providing information uh, as we see fit. Um, but you know, there's a bunch of different, a bunch of different cable and streaming solutions that we'll get to, but we chose Comcast for this example. Um, so looking at this, obviously this is a year, uh, a year bundle for $99 for cable. Um, so this top left corner is really talking about what services are being provided. And then there's a little bit of internet and a little bit of phone, but really the majority of this bill as a whole is around fees, charges, uh, taxes, and other things that um, you know they are ticky tack, but at the same time can add up, especially if you have multiple boxes, multiple DVRs, things like that, uh, that that could add to this $99 quickly. But you know the numbers are step, you know 15. There's 15 charges added on to a bill, uh, and 29% of a bill is in fees and and taxes and charges, and not actually services being provided. Um, so this is something that the cable companies have been doing for a long time, uh, and they like to bundle it with the internet and phone. You know, home phones are, are becoming a thing of the past, but combining the internet and TV um, is a great way for them to keep you as a client, uh, but also gives you negotiating leverage to be able to get the best price for you. So here are some cable best practices around if you do have cable, what's the best practices in order to make sure that we're getting the most out of um, out of our most bang for our buck per se. Uh, so the first thing is cut down on DVR and excess boxes to eliminate extra expenses. Uh, so DVRs, the storage space, costs money. So if you're not if you're not actually recording live TV and watching it on a consistent basis, maybe looking at cutting down your storage on your DVR. Uh, they do add boxes. Uh, cost for boxes in different rooms of the house. So if you know that you might have five boxes for that one occasion, but most of the year you're only using one or two uh, boxes per year, maybe cutting down on those can, can cut down on on a, on a specific expense. Um, you know, I'm a big sports fan, but uh, in this day and age of COVID-19 and uh, cutting sports right now and any extra sports packages could be a great way to cut costs a little bit. Um, they're obviously showing other content to fill, but if you're really buying the, the packages to watch live games and things like that, and you're not using it right now because there aren't sports uh, and they're slowly coming back, but you know, um, for some, or depending on seasons, cutting sports or sports channels or sports packages could be a great way to, to save a little cost within your bill. Um, another thing is no, negotiate with your current provider, especially during COVID. Uh, as we talked about in a previous session, we want to go to all of our providers and make sure that they're giving us any type of uh, rebates or information that we possibly can. And then on top of that, you know, go look at other offers. Uh, I, there's definitely some providers that for Internet and cable will bundle and give you discounts for the first couple of years for joining. Um, just be careful as there might be uh, surprise costs that come up later. Uh, but right now, if you have a, if had a loss of income within the household or needing to a cost reduction in some in some way to make your budget work, um, going to another carrier for the short term could be a good way to cut costs and, and, and cut rates. Um, always want to bundle. Providers want all of your coverage, whether it's a television, internet, phone, as we talked about. So bundling should give you a discount in cost. Just make sure you're buying what you use, not what you think you need, um, and and go from there as it relates to bundling. But um, it's a great way to save a little cost instead of going with two different providers. And then the final best practice, which is something that I've personally done over the last year and uh, and more and more people are doing, is cutting the cord. Um, and that's a that's a phrase around eliminating cable altogether and and moving to more of a streaming service. So uh, we're going to move into that and talk a little bit about all the different streaming services that can be provided um, and the costs associated with that that could um, be a little more efficient.
So I know this is a little small. Uh, this is a very detailed list that was provided by uh, Forbes, and there's actually an article on Well Advised K's website as well as the link below here. Um, to go to that article directly, they have a great, a great financial reporter who did a deep dive on probably 20 different streaming services and wanted that to provide this to all of you um, as well because the content's so good. But it, it brought together all the different types of streaming services and and the different ways that we can uh, that we can do this. So um, for anybody that's a Prime user, uh, Amazon Video comes with uh, comes with anybody that has Prime. Um, so if you're already paying for Prime, this is a great way to get free content uh, that that you already are paying for through your Prime membership. Um, Apple TV is starting to create original content, so there's streaming services for that. Um, but these most of these are around more holistic offerings. Uh, so the CBS, uh, AT and T, uh, and Fubo are actually full cable services. They have a lot of the same. TV packages that a standard TV package would have. Some of them have DVR, DVR capabilities as well as streaming capabilities to watch from your phone or your TV or, or your computer. Um, and you can see on the right all the different content. Um, but the cost is, is significantly less. And you can do it quarterly. You can do it uh, annually. And you get access to things like Hulu or Netflix with some of these purchases. So um, it's a really interesting thought and uh, one that's come up in 2020, but one that um, – could be a great cost saver for you as it relates to uh, looking to cut expenses. Some of the other great ones are, are HBO Now, Hulu, Netflix, Sling, Showtime, Stars, and YouTube TV. All of these are um, relatively at a cost discount uh, to cable. Just depends on what you watch. That's why um, upfront is so important to make sure you know what you're watching uh, and you're paying for what you watch, not what you think you're going to watch. So. If if something like, uh, you know, if you've watched if you're only on Netflix because you watch The Office and and you've watched it 10 times and, and uh, you know, you, you're you know that it's going off air at the end of the at the end of the year. Maybe maybe you cut Netflix because that, you know, that's the only thing you watch uh, as hard as that might be. If you're not watching anything else on it, uh, you know, we're looking at a necessity from a cost cutting perspective and expense perspective uh, rather than on a on a on a one perspective. So um, if you're watching this via, via YouTube, you can pause it here and look at all the information, click the link here. Uh, but like I said, there's an article also on Well Advised K that can get you directly to uh, this article to, to help you if you're gonna make that move or make that decision. Um, it's, uh, it's an interesting one and one that you know can be a great cost saver, as I've mentioned. So um, with that being said, um, as, as always, um, please be sure to join us on Mondays at noon for our weekly mindfulness practice led by Julie Spark 360's Directular Behavioral Health and Mindfulness, Julie Fishcorn. Uh, you can enroll for that at wellaviseK.com in our COVID-19 survival toolkit, um, as well as on the Spark 360 website. Um, it, we're always here to help if you want more information or have questions. Uh, please visit us on the web at welladvicek.com, call us at 412-237-2126, or by email at info at welladvisedltd.com. Again, I want to thank you, everybody, for everybody that has participated over the past uh, two, three months, as well as for this session specifically. Um, but want to thank everybody. Please stay safe. Please stay healthy. Um, reach out if you have any questions or anything comes up. Always here to help. And with that being said, have a great day. Thank you, everybody.